Hello uh, and welcome to this new video tutorial about this brand new Koha plugin, the cart to shelf plugin that we just finished writing for one of our client partners. Now this is a functionality we are going to talk about it today, uh, what it does. It's been something that a lot of library users and librarians across India has been, who have been talking to us, have been asking for something like this for quite some time now and now it's finally here. Now before we begin about uh, the why's and how's, the problem that is solved and all that, uh, just a quick word about what is a Koha plugin. A Koha plugin is a modular plugin system. It's just a piece of code that allows us to add additional tools and functionalities to our existing Koha. It's a feature of Koha that has been uh, around since Koha 3.12 onwards and it allows us to uh, basically add additional tools and reports to Koha that are specific to a particular library. It is delivered and deployed as a KPZ file which is nothing but other than a compressed zip archive containing Perl files, templates and other necessary files. Other necessary files being files like JavaScript files, CSS style sheets and stuff like that. Now Coming to the problem, uh, just let let us look for a. I'll sh show you what happens. Uh, see, when we uh, return a book, also called a check-in, when you scan the barcode of the book and the system is it is returned to the system. Oh, sorry. I think I I went looked up a different one. F eight eight zero, right. Now, yes, so this book, uh, Database Management Systems by Gerald Post, uh, this is the barcode of the accession number we are going after. And as you can see here, it says Journal Stacks 1. Now, this uh, we are going to issue. We're going to check it out to us. I'm just going to do a dummy check out to myself. And... Uh, then I'm going to check it right back in. It's a check-in which is what we're going to look into and what it does. So the book is checked in. Oh, sorry, the book is checked out. So now we're going to check it back in. That is, we're going to return it. And normally people will be returning it after a couple of days or whatever when they're done with the book. But uh, Here we're doing it right then and there because we're going to do this demo. So it says general stacks one. Now what's the problem with that? The problem is that in most libraries that we work with, they are short stuffed, they are short in manpower, and they typically will not be returning one single book or a couple of books to the stacks where exactly they're supposed to be when the book is physically returned. What they do, what they will do is that uh, they will wait till there's a sizable number of books, like maybe 30, 40, 50. And, and uh, when there is that many number of books gathered, uh, they are sorted and then they're reshelved. So from the time the book is checked in, the book is returned to the library, till the time this is resorted and reshelved by the library personnel periodically. So, uh, say every two hours, three hours, or maybe sometimes uh, in some cases at the end of the day. The document, the book is physically is lying there, is laying there on the library cart. And yet, as you can see here, right after I have returned the book, it says General Stacks 1. And this is the problem. If a user comes uh, to your library to our library or the user uses the OPAC, it will tell them that the book is available, this copy is available, and the copy is available in General Stacks 1 at this particular position of the sorting order or the shelving order. But physically the book is right now very much lying there on the book cart. Because it is on the book cart, if a user goes to the stacks and looks for it, you won't find it anywhere. You won't find the book there. So this is a accessibility. It's a 
accessibility issue okay now this card to shelf plugin is not the first thing that uh, koha has had for some time to handle or support something like this there has been uh, some support so there is this system preference return to shelving card the default setting is don't move so if it's a move move all items to the location card when they're checked in we're going to turn this on and see what what it does to our check-ins now remember this it is still general stacks one right now i'm going to again check it out So F A, sorry, yeah. And then I'm going to write back, check it in, write back. See something here, it's book card. Let's look at the record itself. So the book is physically available in the library. But the book is not on the general stacks. It's not been shelved back. It's still in the book card. So now we correctly know where physically the book is right now at this point of time, right? Now, this is first part of the solution that Koha already had. That when the book is returned, it is not sent back to the shelf, but it is placed in the book card. Now, of course, if items can't remain, uh, the items cannot remain in book card all their life, so they need to be moved back in the shelf. How do you move, do that? To do that, there are there are certain cron. The, the Koha provides us with several cron jobs, and one of the cron jobs is this one. Card to shelf. What does it do? Updates all items with the location of card to the item's permanent location. So, if this script, this Perl script, is run. What it would do is change this book card to its original location general stacks. Now, a cron job means it runs periodically. So here it says frequent suggested suggestion frequent suggested frequency is hourly. Now somebody might be running this in every three hours, somebody might be running in two hours, or as Koha says, hourly, or as some libraries actually do, they do the reshelving at the end of the day. So it might be set to run at 5, 5 p.m. before they close the library. Now, the problem, now while this helps to solve a part, large part of the problem, this still has one small problem there. There's still a small problem with this script. And the problem is that it is running blindly based on time. When, we, when the script is run, it's going to, reset the location from cart to its permanent location without knowing whether the item has actually been moved back to the stack to its correct location and that's exactly what this plugin does okay now so we're going to look at the plugin now i'll just switch to a different so from tools, we have already installed our plugin. We are going to tools plugins. So here is the plugin. This is the minimum version we know it will work with. So run tool. Now here, as you can see, it is available, but it is book card. So here we feed just scan the barcode and say move to shelf it says barcode submitted one number of items moved to shelf is one so it's been moved let's refresh this page and see if it still is the book card or has it been moved to the shelf it's back on its original location so the idea is something like this 
once the library uh, staff, uh, the, uh, the li librarian or the library professional is ready to re do the reshelving. Until they do, the books remain in the book cart. As long as they don't reshelve it. Just before reshelving it, they push the cart to the stacks and using a wireless barcode scanner perhaps, they scan the book once into this plugin and clicks move to shelf. So at the point when you're actually physically moving the document back to its shelving look, actual shelving location is when you scan it. And it is actually real time accurate information. We know the book has actually been physically moved there because this has been manually triggered. Now you can do it one at a time or you can do it uh, many at a time. So let's say 45, so you can just have plenty of them. Now here, let's see what happens. Move to shelf. Okay, this is the interesting part. It says barcode submitted four, items moved to shelf is zero. Number of barcodes not in cart. So out of the four that were submitted, three are not set as cart because why? This is already there in the general stack. So that's nothing, nothing to really uh, do there. So, and these are the ones that are not in cart, which was entered. So it tells us that even if we, if we enter something that is wrong, that is not there uh, in the shelving cart, in the shelving cart, it's a no, this is nothing to do about that. And we entered one invalid barcode. That is a barcode. If we assume this is a barcode, is not something that was, that is not in our database. So it shows exactly what we did, right? So this is error, error correction and trapping is there in the, in the plugin and, uh, you can also see something else. This also has got a log, log, logging capability. So if you look at log viewer, okay, it's a cataloging module. I'm going to set it for today's date and do submit. We'll see a lot, lot more records, but we'll see the one that we are going after. So, yep. Right, so item this, move from cart to gen A. Gen A is nothing but the authorized value for what? General stacks one, okay? And if you look at it, if you look at the status bar, you'll see item 3669, 3669, item 3669, here. So it's been moved back, it's fully logged, so this is what it solves. So you get an accurate, up-to-date, real-time, actual picture of when you actually move the book off the book card and into the shelf. So we save the time of the reader. We also save the time and the headache of the library professional who are working and using Koha. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.